Colorado Volleyball sweeps Oregon State. 25-13 in the third set, 25-12 in the first, a dominant performance. The Oregon State Beavers never got out of the teens and didn't even get into the teens in one of those sets. And Colorado moves to 9-7 and seven now in conference play. There's a great win by the volleyball team sweeping the Beavers of Oregon State. That eventual loss to OSU early this season. Megan Hart had a nice standing match. Eight kills, six blocks. Maya Tabron matching uh, the high with kills with 11 on Friday. The Buffaloes are at Washington as they take to the road in the Pac-12. Back in the Buffalo Stampede. There we go. Look at the hardware right there. And more of it has been won by the Colorado Cross Country team. Mark Wetmore joining us here, picking up a women's title in Pac-12 uh, Cross Country. And, you know, you're running out of space back here is a thing. we got one, one space left, and it's over. <laughs> well, you retire, we get new space. How does that work? Uh, I think it'll be time for me to wrap it up. <laughs> Oh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's go back to the Pac-12 championships. All, awful good day for the women. Let's start there. Yeah, the women ran well. Uh, everybody did what we needed them to do. Bailey was wonderful. Uh, Caitlin Barthel was wonderful. As you know, it was a tiebreaker, which is inexplicably complicated for the general public. <laughs> but uh, it basically required that either one of them, or both of them, outkicked a Utah runner. And, yeah. uh, and it worked out, so it was wonderful. You know, I, I had made the joke at some speaking event. I said, you know what the tiebreaker should be? The coaches should go out there and run against each other. I think I'd lose. <laughs> I, yeah, I might have to uh, abdicate to Coach Burroughs, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Picking up that individual championship, though, what, what a kick at the end of the race for her. Yeah, she's a good kicker when she uh, sees it within reach. And, and we knew that, and she knew that. She was down quite a bit with just 300 meters to go, but yeah. uh, she went and got it. Yeah. It, with that, that kind of situation right there that, that comes down to uh, like old coach Jeff Mazdelic used to say around here are willing to want to doesn't it uh you're you're not catching her with a 20 or 30 meter deficit if you don't will it and want it yeah. for sure yeah. yeah yeah has she always been a tough runner I mean would you describe her as a tough runner well she's new to us you know she mm -hmm. was a, she did an undergrad degree at Indiana so she yeah. just came to us in August but she's been tough so far yeah that's interesting because you know the, the transfer portal you know we talk about that so much in football and basketball is that affecting you in cross country as much uh, quite a bit recently because of the amount of eligibility people got after COVID. Mm -hmm. Everybody got another year after COVID. It'll quiet down, the transferring will quiet down now, I think. Give us a quick comment about the men's performance in the Pac-12 championships. They were good. Yeah. It wasn't brilliant. Stanford's the best team in the country right now, and uh, we I wouldn't say we gave them a good run, but we gave a real good run to Oregon and Washington and UCLA and everybody else. Well, we're going to talk more with Mark Wetmore, what's coming up. In fact, they're on their way to the NCAA championships, but first, a win of the WNIT for J.R. Payne and the CU women's basketball team. Side wing. Jones will give it back to Miller. Miller for a three. Yeah! Just really proud of how we played tonight. This is a this is a difficult game for us, um, being that stylistically we don't see that style. Um, you know, our multitude of athletes on the floor at one time very often, and so I was really proud of how we responded. You know, and, and really competed in the areas that we wanted to compete. And uh, I think that's a really good basketball team. I think Jackson State's going to win a ton of games. Uh, they should be a tournament team again. They're very good. And I think that we played really well and responded to a really good team coming into Boulder. Get up. Need some help. Von Lake catches. Lobs underneath. Miller. Miller a little push off. Got away with it. She caught it with the right. Well, we wanted to pressure. We wanted to try to create some turnovers. We felt like we could do that. And I think just sort of top to bottom, we communicated really well defensively, I thought. You know, there were some different actions. we hadn't necessarily seen that we had to guard, but I thought our communication was was on point. And yeah, I mean, we, we're a defensive team. We love to play defense, so I think we we did that well tonight. He's up, got a thumbs up. Winner, wind fires a three and knocks it down. Yeah, I think we prepared a lot of just being, uh, loading up on the help side and playing team defense. And that obviously really got them out of what they were doing so we could pick off those passes. And I'd say, yeah, I think my teammates like do a good job of making me feel more comfortable, like, always looking inside. And then I'm usually in with Quay, and so I feel like me and her have a good connection, so being able to work inside out with her is helpful too. I think just um, we have a lot of good pieces on the floor. I think we've improved our shooting from our guard spots, so that just opens up the floor so much more. When our posts run the floor in transition, that's when I get those easy shots, um, O-board kickouts. I think it's just, um, yeah, there's a lot of things team-wise that, that makes the shots much easier. Now to see you women after that victory in the WNIT. Now they're moving on. They've got a couple of games on the road coming up uh, later on this week in the WNIT. We continue with Mark Wetmore. Buffs coming off the Mountain Regional Championships in Albuquerque. Give us a recap of that. 
Well, the, the regionals are a semifinal, so to speak, and mm. uh, as in an individual race, you like to get to the final as well rested as possible. So all the teams are taking it carefully in, in the region. Yeah, the men and women both finish, by the way, in the top five and get the bid to the NCAA championships. See, the men, 31 straight years, the women, 30 out of 31. you got to work on that side there, Mark. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a disappointment. <laughs> Missed it that one year. Death taxes and the buffs going to the NCAA championships. That's an awful nice honor for both teams. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Yeah. I, I don't like to pat myself on the back, but making it every year that I've been here, is, yeah. I'm proud of that. Yeah. So now you're on your way to Stillwater, Oklahoma. You were there early this year at the Cowboy Jamboree, correct? Yes. Tell us about that course. It's a hard, hilly course. It's a beautiful course. Yeah. Uh, they've done a good job with it. It's hard, it's fair, mm -hmm. and uh, we haven't done well on it yet. Okay, right, <laughs> We've right. We've been there three or four times, so I have to figure it out. Coming from elevation like we do, do you prefer hilly courses as compared to a flat course? Well, we always prefer anything difficult. Hill, snow, mud, wind, heat, right. whatever makes it more difficult is, is uh, our metier. I've always been uh, you know, appreciative of what Mark does with cross country, because everything is built towards peaking for this time of year. You feel good about uh, where the teams are? You're supposed to, yeah. yeah. and. Uh, I think so. The men look very good in Albuquerque. The women struggled a little bit, but some things that we can fix. Okay. I think we can have our best races of the year right. this Saturday. Well, you say that in, the women win the Pac-12 championship and then maybe struggle. How, how does a cross-country team struggle in that regard? Yeah, I don't know. They, they're awful pleased with how the conference went, and maybe okay. they're a little depleted. <laughs> I right. don't know. Anyway, right. they, got, they had better be ready Saturday. All right. Got a big one coming up. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right. Mark Wetmore, he and the cross-country team will be in Stillwater, Oklahoma for the NCAA championship. Chips looking to bring home more hardware. As we put a wrap this week out of Upper Stampede. I'm Voice of the Bus Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.